Okay, so uh, this is um, SQL I dumper. Um, this is 9.2.1. Uh, I received this from a friend a fair bit ago. It is clean, uh, and you can usually tell that by decompiling it. Um, now this is in a virtual machine, and I, for whatever reason, uh, with a virtual machine, sometimes it works and sometimes it doesn't. It it really pissed me off, um, because obviously I would really prefer to be running this in a virtual machine, um, and of course you, it's always safe and recommended to run anything in sandboxy. So, in a virtual machine, I just get this weird note thing here. Um, so this is like it. Um, I will have stuff in it. Uh, yes, yeah, so. Um, so yeah, this is one I downloaded from YouTube, uh, it was infected with the Trojan and I had to get rid of the Trojan out of it, which is, it's a pain in the ass to do, but it is obviously doable, because I have a habit of tracing them back to their owners. Sorry, I am sick and I am mildly inebriated whilst making this video. Um, so, okay, so this is the one. Um, so yeah still same mana bytes and everything and here it is here um, I'm wouldn't be comfortable without running it in sandboxy um, but that's personally me um, now obviously you wouldn't want to um, run anything like this in an administrative account my um, account is just called admin it's not an actual admin account so I'm gonna go ahead and run this um, I think my mouse is running out of batteries. Um, now I've gone ahead and added in some extra things like the decompiler here that I can show you very quickly. I might already have it open actually. Um, no way, I can open up through a zip I think. Piss off. Open up the zip. And I'll just go and decompile this. And as you can see it opens up here as well. Um, so, with a lot of things, I'll get rid of this and redo it. Um, remove. Um, uh, so this is just an application I wrote for starters. Um, it's just a yeah dork generator. I've written it in Visual Basic. Um, if you really want, you can go and decompile it and look at how it works. It's really simple. It's just uh, an if statement and repeating on a loop. Um, then you've got the must installs, the .NET framework, which you can download from Microsoft if you really don't want to do it through that, that's fine. Uh, you got your languages, that's whatever. Um, so yeah, we'll go ahead and decompile this. I need to have this open, I'll move it over here. Uh, chuck that down here. Uh, was that the one I just opened, and I was looking at a virus one. Yeah, okay, so this is the legitimate one. So the legitimate one should say like NS0 and stuff on it, and shouldn't have anything too suspicious in it. Um, yeah, it should be around the 7,000 kilobyte mark, um, give or take, I think, two. So I know, um, I think it's two kilobytes, I, I forget. I'm not still not too sure if this one contains a keylogger that my friend has lovingly installed for me, um, because he does shit like that, but he insists that it is clean, because uh, he was part of the team who cracked it as he claimed, but I don't know if I believe that. Um, yeah, so it's just that shit. So as you can see, it ran and whatnot. Uh, what's the video at? Four minutes. Okay. Jesus, I'm better at doing this while I'm inebriated than I am fucking make the video and I'm sober. Okay, so yeah, so for whatever reason, this will run um, on my main computer, which really fucking sketches me the fuck out, which it doesn't run in a virtual machine. Well, personally for me, it just might be the virtual machine I have, because um, I was having some issues where um, it had n <laughs> it didn't have Internet Explorer, and I tried with like FTP and shit like that, but it just what it just wasn't working. 
I had to do some trickery and wizardry with it, where I had to RDP and get Firefox from like another computer on my network. Um, yeah, so there was some weird shit going on there. So yeah, no, um, that opens up. So what I will do is I'll go ahead and zip this. I've tried this before. So yeah, I tried to make this video before and absolutely failed because of fuck knows what. I'm gonna go ahead and compress this to a zip. Thanks. I don't know how Firefox goes with set space. Um, I'll I was using the for um tiny upload, but I know I was having major fucking issues with that. Go ahead and redo this. Ten minute mail. Um, I haven't tested this completely, so I'm hoping it's not gonna fuck up. But there is a fifty percent chance it's about to fuck up. Alright, so I'll upload this. Grab a 10 minute mail. Go ahead and copy to that. Can you copy, please? That would be lovely. Chuck a temp mail in. Upload. Um, okay. And we'll just go ahead and wait for this to happen. Um, shit. Okay. This won't take too long, I don't think. Oh fuck, it's run Oof. Okay, so it's running at 87 kilobytes a second, okay. Yeah, you can see straight on the internet, so it's gonna be double that <coughs> time, usually. Um, oh fuck. Got into the hundreds. Never seen that before. <laughs> oh my. Alright, well, why that uploads, um, I don't think, um, it overwrites, nah, no, it wouldn't overwrite, that's stupid, so, um, so yeah, this is me showing that there's no trickery going on in, like, editing or whatever the fuck, um, so I'm just, I'm just doing this because I'm just, like, I'm sick and tired of, like, when you go download shit like Dark Comet or applications like that, like, SQL, <laughs> iDumper, and just shit, and it's just infected with about 500 fucking Trojans, and it's just, I mean, I know how to get rid of them, but I, a lot of people don't know that, um, method of doing that, and it's just kind of sad, like, um, the one I was looking at, um, it, like, redirected to a paste bin, and then it, uh, downloaded the code of the paste bin, and then ran it as a binary, and just, ugh, using web client, it was written in Visual Basic, so, <clears throat> it should say a lot. I mean, I write a lot of my stuff in Visual Basic and other things on one of my other channels, so... Yeah, I won't get into that, but... Yeah, it's, it's very interesting, and you can usually tell when things are... and things are legit, and when things are very, very badly infected. If your antivirus is going off and you decompile it and it's having issues with decompiling, then that's something you should probably stay away from. If it's something you can decompile and you can obviously see it's like not a virus um, inside the code, like there's no uh, installer code or something. I don't know, do I have it in here? Um, I don't know if I have it in here. I have a, um, I think. Okay, yeah, no. So this is um, a p program I wrote. Um, technically it's an installer for a backdoor. Um, I was sending out to some certain individuals that wanted to test a program for me. <laughs> and uh, this is what it looks like uh, when it was... Um, fuck, what's the term? I can't really think now. Yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, so everything's on the uppity up. On here... Um, yeah, so this is just the basic, um, yeah, decompiler for most things I was using. Let's go ahead and check it now. Oh, we finished. Let's check the mail. Got ten more minutes. Come on. Really hope we can get this before fucking fifteen minutes is up. That would be really nice. Um. Oh. Okay. Um. I'll go ahead and blur out that so you can't see it, but. 
you should be able to see this download one though. Uh, since we uh, we are avatar. Oh, okay. Wait, huh? Um. Yeah. No, I'm just. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. So I was a bit concerned there if I was about to have my file deleted after 30 days. <clears throat> oh, that's fine. Oh, I'm gonna have to edit that, aren't I? Oh, every time I move my fucking mouse, it's just another goddamn blur I need to add out on the delete link. Okay, so yeah, that's the download link for it. Yeah, we'll go and check that. Hopefully it's not gonna fuck up. Yeah. Oof, besides all these fucking ads that piss me off. What's that, like 3 megs? 31 megs. Oof. Close. Okay, so what's... Did that... What the fuck? Download the file, bitch. This is why you should always have fucking ad block. Like, holy shit. Okay, yes. Took a couple of goes. Yeah, there it is there. And did I set a password? No, I don't think I did. Okay, so that's fine. <laughs> yeah, because a lot of times when people have password on passwords on their dot .zips and dot .rars, it usually means that there's something not really very fun going on in it, inside it. Um, it's most like it's a Trojan in it and whatnot. I mean, I have an antivirus on, so I, I don't really... Yeah. Nothing's popped up yet. <laughs> uh, no, wait, I did a virus scan on it. Here, I'll do that as well in the video. Um, yeah, no, I was having some... Um, issues with my recording. I think this is the third or fourth time I'm doing this goddamn recording. So yeah, if I scan it, it should say it's completely clean. Um, anyway, if it doesn't, I'm going to be very surprised. Alright. Yeah, no, so that's clean. Um, yeah. And obviously you can go ahead and scan all you want with the other shit. Um, so yeah, these are just um, web shells that you can upload to the websites. And then it's just the dork generator I wrote. Good old Visual Basic. So yeah, it just goes through um, on a for loop on every single one of these. It adds those. So to get the total of dorks that are going to be generated, you just times these two numbers. So 11 times 3. And then the... Um, I can't really do math right now. That's 33. Um... <laughs> It's the easy ones. Yeah, so that uh, should be um, the maximum output that should come out. And if I do this, yeah, day three. So these are just normal ones. And as you saw from my um, previous ones, that um, I had <laughs> a shit ton. If I go on to Notepad, yeah, I've got like a lot. Got a lot of docs that are being generated. Um, these are the. Yeah, Intex, I think. Yeah. yeah, no, okay, this is the, I don't know if this is the Intex or the in URLs. I don't remember. Yeah, it generates a decent amount. Oh, that's some code. Wait, what is this code? What is this doing? Oh, okay, no. Uh, it's part of a, uh, a worm I was working on, but yeah, it's whatever. I wanted it to put onto like a disk or something and leave it somewhere so when somebody runs in, runs the executable on it, like uh, decrypting the files and they get it wrong, it fucking disables the antivirus and does shit. Christian things to it, that's other stuff unrelated to this. Yeah, you can check all this if you're really too concerned. There's Sandboxy. If you don't trust this, this is fine, you can go ahead and download it online yourself. It's completely understandable. I'm not gonna judge you too much. I'm not even gonna probably know. <laughs> um, yeah, no, the settings. I was trying to get this to. Oh, fuck, thirty seconds. Um, I was trying to get this to work in um, in the virtual machine. I fucking with the settings and shit, but I can't really get it to work. So I was really surprised. All right, so I'm gonna wrap up the video here. Where I've still got twenty seconds. So thank you guys for watching. Um, enjoy the download and yeah, just. I guess let me know in the comments below. I mean, I have issues with reading comments a lot, but yeah, so leave a like and enjoy the video and share it around. Thanks.